Blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, mother friends, mother brothers and sisters, mother good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. My dear Kababayans, today is January 27, 2024, and today is Saturday within the third week in Ordinary Time, Year B. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And you know what? Whether we like it or not, storms are part of our life. We cannot avoid it. It is inevitable. And storms, figuratively speaking, may represent our daily problems, you know, our fears, our horrible past traumas, our life insecurities, our psychological issues, our arguments with someone, our, our experience of crisis, and so on and so forth. Storm may appear as economic storm. It might be uh, emotional storm, financial storm, or storm of a broken relationship, or tidal waves of health concerns. Whatever storms we have, remember this. And the gospel is telling us of this beautiful message. God is in control. What message can we learn from the gospel for today? Number one. When we encounter surge of horrible intimidation in our expedition, in our journey, like Jesus, in the face of storm, sleep. Yeah, I say it again, sleep. Meaning to say, relax. Do not be afraid. Don't worry. Don't panic. Because no storm can drop a person like you. You are mightier than any storms in your life, mother friends, because we are God's children and God is there to protect us. Storm will, will be there to, to frighten us, to scare us, but it cannot sink us. Why? Because God is in control. God is the captain of our boat. He is in charge and he is the one who controls the storms in our life. That's why do not be afraid. Relax. Like Jesus, sleep. The second, God will not let us perish. Because as what I've told you, He is in the boat. That's why when you have problems in life, focus on the one who can solve the problem. Do not focus on the problems. Never focus on the waves, but focus on the captain of your boat. Smile amidst of the big surf. Why? Because God is with us. He is the Emmanuel. But the friends, just because it is stormy, it does not mean that you cannot reach your destination. Just because you fail, it does not mean that you cannot be successful anymore. Stay positive because life is beautiful because of Jesus. The peril, the danger of the tidal waves in front of us is transitory. Meaning to say, it is temporary. It won't last. Because we have a God who can melt tidal waves into mists. If Jesus is with you, just wave with the waves. Because as what I told you, God is in control. And finally, the message of Jesus to the uh, scared disciples is the same message he's telling with us, he's telling to, to us today, be still, do not be afraid. Be still and enjoy the sailing. Be still and enjoy your, your journey. Relax, never panic because you are safe with God's hands. Be still and replace your fears with faith. To end up with my reflection, let me end with three S, 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 S. There are storms in our life. But when you face with storms, sleep. Relax. Don't worry. Because God is in control. Sleep. Because we are safe in God's hands. God is our security. God is our refuge. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends. So that many will be blessed. Amen.